My name is Nancy Sweeters, and I am a nurse practitioner at Children's Hospital and Research Center in Oakland. And we uh, presented a poster here about a rare disease, a journey of a rare disease, from compassionate use to uh, phase three clinical trial. And the poster is really about a parent, our journey of having a parent come to us and ask us if we would be willing to put her child with a rare disease onto a compassionate use trial that we had open for another disease. Uh, it was a really interesting question. We are a group of hematologists and the disease is uh, PCAN and it was a neurodegenerative disease under the heading of neurodegeneration with brain iron accumulation. So we looked into the data, it looked very interesting and compelling and we asked the FDA to um, provide us with a compassionate use IND. We asked permission for that and they granted it. We also asked the company who makes the drug if we could have some drug for this child and we asked our IRB. So that was the beginning of the journey in that we started this child on the drug, um, deferoprone, and on a lower dose than we used in our thalassemia patients, um, not really knowing what exactly was going to happen. Um, and interestingly enough, after a few months, there looked like there were some um, positive results and the neurodegeneration, they were having some improvements in their physical abilities. So that really led us down the path to think a little more about the iron accumulation in the brain. We are an iron center. We are specialists in thalassemia and sickle cell anemia and have done a lot of work in the iron chelation in those diseases. So we were approached, after the success of that patient, we were approached by a few other patients and asked if they could also be included in the compassionate use trial. So we put on one more local child in California uh, with the permission of the FDA and also saw some improvements in that child. So based on that information, we were getting many calls and we felt that it was really important at that point to start the process of working on a clinical trial. So we applied for an IND from the, uh, from the FDA and also applied for a challenge grant. The NIH had some challenge grants um, that were available at that point for a variety of diseases. Uh, it took us a very long time to get that IND. The FDA originally said no and then came back later and, and had us work with them on the IND and were able to procure the IND. Uh, for the challenge grant, there were so many applications. We were scored, which means they liked the application, but we were not funded at that point. And they encouraged us to apply again. Um, we applied to the National Institute of Neurologic Diseases and Stroke for a second grant. Um, also reviewed and scored, but not funded. So at this point, we were working with all the experts in the United States. Um, the experts in NBIA at Oregon Health Science University, and also with the patient advocate group, the NBIA Disorders Association. And we're really, at this point, really committed to the project, trying to get funding somewhere. We were also approached by uh, the Europeans. They were looking for a clinical trial in NBIA and asked their trial that they were going to use wasn't quite ready, so they asked for our um, permission to use our trial and try and get funding through the European Union. And we finally went in for a grant with the FDA through Orphan Products. And both got funded at the same time. This was a three-year process from beginning to funding. Uh, so the European Union was funded, and we became a site for the European Union, and the FDA funded us, and it became an EU FDA project. Um, at that point, the pharma company also came in and became the sponsor. So now we have three sets of funding. Um, we. It's an international phase three trial, enrolling 40 patients in the United States and 50 in Europe, with PCAN specifically, and it'll be an 18-month placebo-controlled trial. So we are started enrolling in January of this year, January of 2013, and are currently enrolling in this study.